Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be hopping in the boat with Jared Houston, and he actually just sold his big boat. So we're gonna be hopping in his tiny boat, which is always fun to go back to your roots, get in a small boat and chase down some fish. Right now, we're kind of in that transition period between summer and fall. I would say we're pretty firmly into fall by now, but uh, those fall patterns are starting to kick up, and today we're gonna to be talking about Jared's top five tips for fall fishing. So without further ado, let's kick it off with number one. Fun, fun in the sun or clouds right now, but it's gonna get sunny. You know, we, uh, we kind of slept in five keys to fall fishing, autumn, we'll use that name because it's more pretty. Um, key one, you don't have to get up very early in the morning, you want those water temperatures to get going a little bit better. Warm up, I mean, when we got out here, the water temperatures at the surface were 65, they're 66, so they're on their way up, and as the water temperatures get increased, the fishing success should get better too, so. We'll start with that, we got two Rockies, a Pike, and now a little Smalley, and we're on our way to having some fun in the sun. You definitely will not find me complaining about just a little bit of extra sleep in the morning, but now let's jump in to number two, Jared's second tip. Okay, step two of the five important things when you're autumn fishing, lure size. I know it's cliche and it gets talked about quite a bit on what size lures we should use and the smaller the better, the bigger the better, etc. I like to look at the water temperature. So we just got out here, it's kind of mid-morning, like we said for step one, you don't have to you don't have to sleep in, or you don't have to get up early. You can get you can sleep in and get out. Um, you know, once the water temperatures start going, and as the water temperatures increase, we'll start increasing our lure size too. So right now we're we're doing some uh, shorter, smaller stuff. Um, this is the new coffin minnow. We're doing some ice fishing things. So I got the Vexar in front of me here, and a little ice rod, and just kind of jigging them off the side with the small lure. But by the end of the afternoon, if things play out the way that I hope they do, um, the goal is that these lure sizes are increased as well as the fish size increase. So. Uh, you know, more bites, bigger fish, and stuff like that. So that's step two of the five steps. Not gonna lie, it's definitely a blast to bust out that ice fishing gear just a little bit early. You got your short sticks, you got your flashers, vertical jigging over the side of the boat. Makes me really excited about the basin crappie bite coming up in not too long, but regardless, let's jump into tip number three. Location, location, location. It's tip number three. Oh, oh no! That's, we, that's okay, it's what you call a Minnesota release. <laughs> but location, location, location. So tip number three of the five step tip for autumn is location. Again, we are on location where the water is the warmest. So I mentioned earlier we started at 65, it's growing to 66. Now if you look down there at 67 degrees, it's getting better and better. So shallow water is gonna warm up the fastest it's kind of like you want to target those rocks and that lumber that kind of attracts the sun, which in turn will warm up that water. Another thing I want to say about that location is this is a good time of year to plan your ice fishing for spots. So going around, finding new logs, new rocks, new whatever type of structure, you know, spot locking it and, and put it in your mapping so you're ready to go for first ice. Um, I know it's said, been said before, but it is, is all that important. And then also, I mean, it's just, you know, it's a good chance to uh, get, get a lay of the land. You know, not just what you're fishing on, but what you're fishing by. So make sure you take those notes, those mental notes and, and whatever, and uh, that'll, that'll put more fish in the boat. So that's step number three, location, location, location. When it comes to consistently catching fish, in my opinion, there's two primary factors. One of them, Jared has already touched on a little bit, and that is location. But the other one, and this is gonna be tip number four, Jared's gonna talk a little bit more about presentation. So tip number four is cadence and lure retrieve. You know, there's a lot to be said on how people do it. Right now, because of the water temperatures, again, or that fall period, I'm gonna let this, this guy go a little, little walleye. But what we've been doing is not really being aggressive. These fish are kind of real sluggish. And as the water temperature picks up and stuff like that by the late afternoon, they're probably gonna get more intense here, so that's good. But at the time being right now, honestly, we've been super, super slow with our retrieve, and, and that's been getting some bites to, you know, trigger some fish and, and so forth. Um, you know, 
with that said, we're also kind of downsized a little bit. I'm using a third of a night crawler, and Nick's been using some minnows, and he's been kind of on the pike kick, and I've been, you know, flirting with walleyes. The walleyes are preferring uh, night crawler, but they're not preferring like a big giant night crawler. So I've kind of downsized to a third of a night crawler and a 16th ounce jig, and and that's how we're getting them there. But um, the cadence, honestly, it's super slow, methodical, and wait for the thump. And when you feel the thump, you know, set the hook. So that's easy. And, and you know, we, we've been dealing with wind, so it's been pretty tricky, but uh, we're dealing with what we can deal with. It looks like right now we're dealing with a little sun in the <laughs> behind my shoulder, but uh, we'll keep going. Uh, tip number four is cadence. Slow down, you know, find out what the fish want, use it to your advantage, and you're gonna put more fish in the boat that way. Okay, now it is time for the fifth and final tip from Uncle Jared. Nice. These water temperatures, again, they started off pretty slow. They've climbed to 67. We're getting real consistent action now. Fish are getting a little bit more aggressive, kind of upsized a little bit. We've used our tips, our first four, which is gonna segue me into my tip five. The five and fifth final tip of the day is preparation. We came prepared. We didn't bring all the mojo, spinner baits, and this and that, aggressive fishing tackle, and, uh, and, and stuff like that. We came with a plan and it was to be slow, methodical, catch fish, jigs, minnows, worms. Um, we got you know some some rumble bugs, um, you know some other things too. But you know our, our preparation was key. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna let this guy go. We also brought warm clothes. I mean, the temperatures in the morning are quite chilly, and we're on the post end of or the back end of a, a big front that came through last night. Uh, I mean, we're getting down to the you know upper 40s and lower 50s overnight, and you know that's going to continue to drop down. So we started with sweatshirts and pants, and now it's kind of a warm afternoon at 4:35, and and uh, now we're into some uh, some shorts, some t-shirts, some beautiful hat, sunglasses. But uh, before you know it, that sun's gonna hit the, the treetops there and we're gonna go back to those uh, pants and stuff. But that is the five tips for the five tips of fall fishing, or we're gonna call it autumn fishing because it's a more pretty name, Jared Houston, rock and roll. Love you guys. I think that final tip was a really good one because honestly, things can change a ton, even just over the course of one single day. Like for instance, the day we were out on this particular trip, you know, we started off in jackets, and by the time we were done, we were wearing t-shirts. So the fish's mood is gonna change as the temperature swings like that. The presentations and the locations that you're gonna have to have dialed in are gonna be changing throughout the course of the day. So just be prepared to make a lot of adjustments throughout the course of the day based on the weather, based on the mood of the fish. But if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below because we have a lot more awesome videos coming up in the months ahead and until next time we'll see you in the next one.